Today, we want to take you on a journey, a journey from your first click to stepping aboard a sailboat with us. Welcome to the What Could Go Right podcast. We are your hosts, Eric Orton. And I'm Emily Orton. And here we talk about personal growth and sailing. In 2014, we moved aboard a fixer-upper sailboat and bootstrapped a year sailing with our five kids and it changed our lives forever. We tell the whole story in our memoir, our book, Seven at Sea. On this podcast, we want to help you go from fear to freedom, one adventure at a time. Okay, we thought that it would be fun to take you on a journey of step-by-step step how you go from, let's say you're listening to this podcast right now, and then you're like, hey, I think I do want to go sailing, or I'm curious enough to find out more, and you click on a link, and then what are all the steps between that moment and actually stepping on a boat? I think the first step would be just scrolling down, whether you're wa watching this on Spotify or Apple Music or wherever you are or on YouTube, going into the show notes and you click the link about sailing. It's the awesomefactory.nyc forward slash sailing. That's it. That's, yeah. the, that's the one you want to look for. Yeah, it'll show on YouTube or it will just be a hyperlink in the podcast show notes. And then when you click on that link, you're, you're, okay. you're on the journey. What's next? Emily has given me the challenge of doing it all from your perspective as a listener. And obviously things happen on my side, but I'm going to do my best to go through it from your perspective. So you go to this link and then there's going to be a bunch of information, some it opens in, up a page. It opens up a page and it's, you know, do you want to try living on try living on a sailboat for a week? And it's a, it's a picture of me and Emily and you scroll down, there's pictures of trips that we've taken, what the boat looks like, what the cabins look like. What if I'm worried about getting seasick? Some frequently asked questions. There's some videos where you can learn more about us. You can hear from people that have gone on trips. There's some quotes. There's some, you know, what's the word when like people say nice things about your stuff? Like a testimonial, yeah, that reviews, sort. Basically. Yeah, some of that stuff. Anyway, you go past all that to the very, very bottom, and you get to my calendar, and it's a sailing Q and A, sailing one on one Q and A, something like that. And you look at that calendar, and you pick a time that works for you, and you click on it, and you schedule it, and it's going to ask for your email, your phone number, if you want to get text reminders. You get a chance to say something about yourself if you want. You don't have to say anything, but if you're like, hey, this is a little bit about me. And then you schedule it. Okay, but you click a time. But like how much time? Is it thirty minutes. Be like a two-hour call. Thirty minutes max. Good question. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a thirty-minute window. So it's like so, a lunch break call. Yeah, you can do it on your lunch break, or you you know, and and whenever. But it's thirty minutes. And if you have more questions and it goes a little long, that's fine. But you know, you don't have to be on for long. And if you're like, hey, you know what? I've, after five minutes, I realize this is not. <laughs> you know, great. We get off. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's a thirty-minute call tops. Uh, what if um, something else comes up after you schedule a call? Oh, wow. I love this. I love this devil side of the plane. <laughs> if something comes up, there's a little cool button that says reschedule. You're going to get some email reminders. And if you want text reminders, you'll get those as well. But in the emails, there's a link you can click to either cancel it or you're just like, hey, I want to reschedule for a better time. And it will take you back to my calendar. You can pick a new time and we'll we'll adjust. And that happens pretty regularly. And and there's Pretty often. literally a live person on the other side. You have it in your calendar. Hey, I'm going to meet with you. And and you show up. Yeah, or I one mean, of our um, associates just shows up and like usually you. Yeah, it's me. And and to be just, I mean, this is not, this will be airing not too far out. And we have um, a good friend of ours, Lori, that is going to be helping us with some of these calls because there's enough of them that I need to free up some time. And so she's going to do it in conjunction with me. And, and you know, I might record some things in advance that people can watch and talk with her, but she's, she's learning the process, but you're going to talk with a real person. It's either going to be me or Lori. We get an email that says, Hey, somebody signed up for a call. It pops up in our calendar. We know that it's going to happen whenever you've, whatever time you've picked. So they schedule it. Okay. And so it's like 30 minutes or so more or less, and then they're going to get reminders and they're going to, then what else do they get anything else? They'll just like show up with you or then then the time of our call the day and time you just jump on zoom and if for some reason you don't want to do zoom and you want to talk on the phone that's fine just you know let me know and we can talk on the phone you can respond to any one of those email reminders and and we'll get it so you can you can contact us directly but that was a little bit of a trick question because you will actually get a short video that Eric oh sorry recorded sorry for you 
So you'll say like, oh, I got to wait for this call to find out more information. No, you don't. Right away, you can satiate your curiosity about everything that you could possibly hope to learn on the call. Eric has made a video for you. What kind of stuff will they learn? Actually, before we get into that, so once you schedule the call, you go to a page. It's a mm-hmm. thing. We call it a thank you page. Thank and, you. Thanks and for says, scheduling a call. We'd love to and, talk with you. And it says, you're all set. We look forward to talking with you. And it says, um, if you'd like some of your, you know, if you'd like some of your questions answered right now, there's an 11 minute video you can watch right away where I go over the basics. If you have time, great. If you don't, it'll be in every other email reminder so that you can watch it at a later time when it's convenient for you. If you don't watch it at all, no sweat. We'll cover it when we get on the phone together or on Zoom together. So there'll be a link to that video. There's also going to be a link to invite you to watch, to listen to our podcast. So a little bit meta here. Whoa, It'll bring you echo. right you back to this by echo, echo, echo. <laughs> It'll bring you right back here. So you can listen to pod. It'll invite you, you know, if you want to check out our podcast, because a lot of people sign up for calls and they don't even know we have a podcast. So there's a link to that. And then if you, it says, hey, if you want to read the whole story, you can get our book. And there's a link to the book. That's everything on the thank you page. Mm-hmm. Then you get the email reminders as it gets closer. Okay. So I'm So in. we're now up to the minute. Yeah, nothing nothing's come up, nothing's gotten in my way, no obstacles. I'm now gonna get on a call with you. What yeah. do I do? Is there like a link inside that I'm gonna click and it'll open a Zoom screen or exactly in the email follow ups or the texts, there's a link that you can click on and it will pop you into Zoom and we can talk. I always have my camera on because I want people to see my face and know that I am who I say I am. Because a lot of times I talk to strangers and if you want to turn on your camera and we get to meet face to face, all the better. Um, Feel free to bring a spouse or a friend if you want. That's fine. I always like to meet the people that are important in your life. Every so often I'll pop upstairs and say hello. Yeah, sometimes Lily wanders in when I'm on a call and she gets home from school. She'll come up and say hi and get to chat with whoever I'm, I'm on the phone with at that point. Um, and now Lori will be on with me more often, sometimes taking notes and just getting herself acclimated so that she'll be able to do calls with and without me sometimes. So you might get to meet Lori as well. Super nice. Super great. Super great lady. Um, anyway, so yeah, we have the call and basically I just cover the information about the boats that we take out. I talk about, first of all, I want to get to know you a little bit. I'm happy to any, answer any questions you have about us, our background or anything. Um, we try to be an open book. And <laughs> is that because we wrote a memoir? Is that, that we tried so hard to be an open book that we wrote a memoir? Yeah, that's us. We're, the, right. we're the open book people. Okay. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> that was a great laugh, by the way. Uh, so, yeah, we just get acquainted. It's just a normal human conversation. And then if you haven't watched the video already, I'll just tell you about the boats that we take out. I'll tell you how you can get involved as a crew member, both sailing and food, or you know, you don't have to do either, or you can do one or the other. Um, and then what a typical week looks like. And then if it's feeling like a good fit, I'll tell you, and you can tell me. And if we're both feeling good about it, I'll tell you what's on the calendar. I'll tell you specific dates. I'll tell you places. I'll tell you uh, the airport that you'll fly into, and I'll tell you the price. And the reason I tell you the airport is because everything else is included in the price, except your flights. And I mean everything. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I don't include scuba gear. If you want to scuba dive, you know, you can, I'll help you get your own gear, but that's about, that's about it. So yeah, you talk about all the details. of, And then, yeah. And then we just talk about questions and I'll tell you that if you want to secure a spot, there's a deposit right now, they're 10%. They're probably going to go up to 20% soon, but you don't have to put it down a deposit at all. And you just certainly not have to do it on this call. I'll, um, if mo if people want to keep in touch, I'll usually give you my personal phone number and we can call or text keep in touch, you know, my personal email and we can always communicate. So if you have follow-up questions. We love to add you to our email list so you can stay up to date or always have a way to connect that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, so if you decide that you want to come on a trip, you can check on whatever you need to check on with work schedules or other people. And then if you want to just ping me back and say, Hey, is there still space on this trip? And I'll tell you yes or no. And if there is, I'll let you know how you can make a deposit. We can either get on the phone and you can do it with me over the phone or I can send you a link and you can do it securely through our website. Then it gets fun. Well, I mean, not, not if, it as depends. if, it if depends. this wasn't fun already, it gets, you might say, you might say, oh, this trip isn't for me. And then you just go back to exactly what you were doing before. Like, totally. Oh, I met that guy and 
that was interesting and I don't want to do it. So and my lunch break is over and I'm getting back to work. And I'll just say this. I talk to lots and lots and lots of people that never go sailing and that's totally fine with me. I'm making a friend every time and that's what's, that's what I enjoy about it. And so if we jump on a call and it's not a fit, it's not a match, no sweat. I, I'm just glad we've met. And that's mm-hmm. cool. I'm just glad that's we've met. That's true. It's the, it's, yeah, it's just when people get all their reminders and then don't show up, they're like, come on, just, yeah, if you're not, just, just cancel on me. <laughs> I will ask. If you're not going to show up, just just let me know. I'll take it off my calendar. It gives me, you know, it frees up my time and I appreciate that. So if you're not going to show up after you've scheduled it, I do ask that courtesy. That's nice. Um, okay. So, so that's the, okay, we're not going to do it or I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe then you go back to work and three weeks later, you're still thinking about that sailing trip and we get back to this position. So let's say you said, yeah. I want to go. I found a trip that's a match. I want to go. I either want to go by myself or I want to bring a couple of friends. Now, yeah. now what do we do? Yeah. Then we just, we, we either get on the phone again or we can text back and forth or email. And so we figure it out and get you set. And then once you make a deposit, um, the deposit, then, then you'll go to a thank you page on our website. Either you'll either get an email or a thank you page on our website or both, depending on how you do it. And, that's going to lead you to a packing list that you can download. Mm. You can also listen to our episode about the packing list if you want to just listen to a packing list. Oh, I should link that. Actually, the audio packing list is nice because then you get to hear about every single item and why it's on the list. And you can decide whether you really want to bring it or not. And you'll have the physical list you can print out. Yeah. So you'll get to download the packing list. And then we have a pre-launch questionnaire. That questionnaire basically walks through the information that's going to help us make the trip a win for you. We want to know if you've got food allergies or food preferences. Um, We need a little bit of information to register the permits and the, and the crew roster that we have to create. Uh, We also want to know your flight plans once you have that set so that we can make sure that we're all getting there at the right time to get on the boat and all that sort of other stuff. Uh, We also want to know your shoe size because we're going to make sure that there are snorkel flippers on the boat for you. And we also just want to know if you're worrying or wondering about something or if you're particularly excited about something because we want to know what, you know, we want to make it your dream trip. And so we we get all that information. You, you, know, you just fill it out. It's fun. And then after that, um, there's information for every destination that we're going to. So you'll know when you need to arrive, the address for the marina, you know, what currency they use in that country, what kind of electrical outlets they use so you can bring the right kind of adapter or whatever and you know all that sort of like the minutia detail stuff and and then we keep in touch between that point and when the trip is happening and as it gets closer i'll do a zoom call where everybody that's going to be on the boat gets together and we all just get acquainted it's just to get to know you meet and greet kind of call if you can't make it for some reason we record it so nobody misses out and then we'll also create a text thread so that as we're all making our way from where we live to the boat, we can keep in touch and keep tabs on like, oh, my flight was delayed or, hey, I'm in the airport and there's a deal on pretzels or, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we- yeah. the oh, I remember you went to one and you're like, well, the taxis are on strike, so I had to take the bus. But tomorrow, you know, maybe that's that's Greece. That's just one of the little exotic pleasures of foreign travel. Yeah. But you know, we, we start to communicate as a crew before we even get on the boat. We're in touch as we make our way there. And plus it's a great way to share photos and memories and keep in touch after the trip is over. And so that's how we're running things right now. And then once you get there, you, you get on a plane, you fly to the place, you get out of the airport, you catch a cab. Sometimes we're, we're arriving, you know, close time-wise to each other. And so we'll share a cab or share a van or a shuttle or something, and we'll all get to the marina and you bring your bag and you get, then you get to walk down the dock to the boat. And I'll tell you exactly, you know, we're on this dock, this slip, this is the name of the boat. And you'll walk down and then you get on the boat and I'll say, Hey, welcome. I'll give you a hug. And then, uh, We'll pick cabins. Sometimes, you know, people pick their own or I'll I'll just make sure everyone's in the one that's going to be the best fit for the whole group. And then you get to go in and settle into your, you know, your bed. You can unpack things. You can take a break after a little bit of travel and just rest up and then go out to dinner. Yeah. Then the first night we just go out to dinner and nobody cooks and we just enjoy, get to know each other. And we sleep on the boat on the dock that first night and we cast off the next morning. So there's no worry if your flight's a little delayed or your cab got stuck in traffic or anything. There's no rush. We just, we get there, we enjoy the evening and then the next morning we go sailing. It sounds like 
you've taken all the guesswork out of going sailing in a beautiful exotic location. They get their airfare ticket, they get their packing list, they show up at the boat you've coordinated or given all the details, you figured it out in advance. And so they just show up, took away their flip-flops and enjoy an awesome week together. Bada boom, bada bing. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that journey and now you would know what to expect. From first click to, I want to like, it's got to feel like, some, is there like some alliterative? From, from first click to first trip? Mm, mm, it's from pretty. first click to casting off. Oh yeah. From yeah, first there click, we go. from first click to casting off. Emily just named this podcast episode. Yep. First click, first click to casting off. What could go right. right? Hey guys, it's Eric. Now that we have rounded the corner into fall, I do want to tell you about some exciting new trips coming up. The long awaited announcements for our summer Mediterranean trips. I'm going to share those with you. So let me start at the top. At the moment of this recording, I'll start with the top of the year, January 27th through February 1st. Currently have one spot. It's a female spot in a shared cabin, bunk bed cabin for the Virgin Islands, January 27th through February 1st. The next trip that we have is March 10th through the 15th, 2025, also to the Virgin Islands. Then we're going to be in the Bahamas, March 31st through April 5th. After that, we're going to jump ahead to the summertime and we're going to be in Italy, June 7th through the 14th. We'll be in Greece, July 19th through the 26th, and we'll be in Croatia, August 2nd through the 9th. So I'm just going to repeat those real quick. January 27th through the 1st, I've got one spot for a lady in on our Virgin Islands trip. Then we're going to be back in the Virgin Islands in March, March 10th through the 15th. Again, then we'll be in the Bahamas, March 31st through April 5th. Then we're going to be in Italy in June 7th through the 14th. Greece, July 19th through the 26th. And Croatia, August 2 through 9. And as we... Uh, it's, those are those are a little ways off, but not too far. Currently, they are at early bird pricing. The prices will go up as we get closer, but if you want to snag a spot early and get a, a better price, drop me a line, shoot me an email, hello at theaustinfactory.nyc, DM me on social, and we're going to do early bird pricing through Thanksgiving. After Thanksgiving, the prices will start to go up. So anyway, that's the lineup. We're super excited to visit one of our favorite spots, the Virgin Islands and the Bahamas, and then also get over to Italy Greece and Croatia. Hope to have you aboard. I'm also going to share with you some takeaways from people that have been sailing with us. Here's another one. All right. Uh, the experience of what I expected. I expected mostly to be throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good marketing yeah. tool to suggest. That, that's going to be right. big quotes. Uh -huh. I expect to be throwing up, but hopefully there's a but. <laughs> there is no but. <laughs> it was a prophecy that came through. No, I expected to be sick a lot of the time. I was actually really quite worried about it. And Eric kept saying, oh, you'll be okay. I've taken lots of people that get seasick. I think, Eric, you said even you get seasick. Um, I do. And so uh, we armed ourselves with probably every known thing uh, to supposedly uh, prevent seasickness. And uh, I think Amazon is out of business now because we're not buying all the things from them anymore, Dana. <laughs> cleared, cleared out their whole supply. But uh, I was surprised not to be sick all the time. And my first day was a little rough. But after that, uh, I got the patch on and, and things went really, really well. Uh, and being with everybody has been so fantastic. Uh, I'm, I have the blessing of knowing everybody that's been on the trip. Uh, but being able to deepen those friendships has been really special and it's 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 you can love people and not spend a lot of time with them so you just kind of reconnect over time but uh, it's been really nice for us all to be in one place and to recognize all the things that we have in common so it's been a great trip